Many people who came in contact with this preteen singer found it hard to believe that such a big voice could come out of someone so small. She went on to win numerous awards and topped the music charts all before she graduated high school. Then she completely disappeared. Let's find out what happened to American 90s R&B pop singer, Tracy Spencer. Born the youngest of four children in Waterloo, Iowa, Tracy Spencer came from a diverse racial and ethnic background. Her mother is Creole and Indian, and her father is French Canadian and Panamanian. She began singing at the tender age of three, along with her siblings, in their own household talent shows. Even as a young child, her maturity always seemed to shine through in everything she did, even the type of music she enjoyed. Her favorite? Jazz legend Billie Holiday. To make her professional dreams come true, she would end up using the same platform to showcase her talent used by many others before and after her, a little reality competition television show called Star Search. She got on the show after they received a homemade demo tape of her sent in by her father, Marvin Spencer, who was also a singer and musician with the Des Moines based band, The Cavaliers. He was also inducted into the Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association's Hall of Fame. In 1987, a then 11 year old Tracy won the junior vocalist competition and a $10,000 prize to go with it. A trip to Los Angeles for an audition with a major record label was next on the list. Then, several months after that, she would sign her first record deal at the age of 12 with that label, Capitol Records. Tracy's self-titled debut album was released in January 1988. It produced several singles, including Hide and Seek and a remake of John Lennon's Imagine. But it was the song Symptoms of True Love that put Tracy on the map when the track made it into the top 40 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Her second album, Make a Difference, was released two years later. The first single, Save Your Love, became her first top 10 hit on the R&B chart. The very next single called This House would end up becoming her biggest hit ever. It rose all the way to the number three position on the Hot 100, and it also gave Tracy her first taste of international success. Yet another hit single off the album, Tender Kisses, captured the number one spot on the R&B chart. The success of both of these songs helped her secure the ASCAP Songwriter of the Year Award in 1992 and made her the youngest songwriter to capture the prestigious honor. Then Tracy would take a major step back. She, along with guidance from her parents, made the conscious choice to retreat from the music industry so she could finish her schooling and enjoy a normal teenage life. Apparently, a third album appeared to be ready to go by 1994. However, for unknown reasons, it would end up getting shelved. Only a few unmastered cassette tape promo copies were ever made. Nevertheless, Tracy would get very busy around this time doing a variety of other projects. She would get to test out her acting chops in a memorable guest appearance in 1993 on the hit ABC sitcom, Family Matters. In the episode, she performed her hit song, Tender Kisses, alongside character Eddie Winslow, played by actor Darius McCrary. She also did commercials and recorded tracks for many movies, such as I'll Be There For You for Good Burger, The Rain for Down in the Delta, Don't Slip Away for Super Mario Brothers the Movie, and a remix of her song, Feeling You for Girl Fight. Tracy's modeling career also took off. She did work for numerous brands such as Tommy Hilfiger and Chanel, which led her to being part of New York City and Los Angeles Fashion Weeks during 1999 and 2000. She also signed with an agency and began appearing in various magazines. She finally resurfaced with new music on the cusp of the new millennium. Her third studio album and first in nine years, simply titled Tracy, dropped in June 1999. It featured the singles It's All About You, Not About Me, and Still In My Heart. The former made it into the top 20 on the Hot 100, but the latter failed to make much of an impression. As it turns out, a major reason for Tracy's long absence was due to the constant changes happening with her label. Capitol shut down their urban music division during her hiatus 
and it didn't get a revival until a new president stepped in. By this time, many other female R&B solo artists, such as Brandy and Monica, as well as groups like Destiny's Child, had launched their careers and were making their indelible mark. So naturally, Tracy knew she had to bring it and called on the help of producers Soul Shock and Carlin and songwriter Diane Warren to create an album that would rival the work of her competitors. The album did well on the R&B Hip Hop Albums chart, peaking at the number 19 position, becoming her highest charting album on that chart. While promoting the project, she looked beautiful, happy, and confident. She even spoke about what other artistic avenues she hoped to explore in the future. I want to be an all-around entertainer. I want to try everything, not limit myself. I do love modeling. I've had fun doing it in the past, and I look forward to doing more of it. In acting, I'd love to do some film. With this album, I'm at a, a very, very happy place in my life right now. It's like I have no complaints, no worries, and I'm just extremely happy. So I'm, I've been very fortunate and very blessed at all the different things that I've gone through since I've started my career. Alas, even the best laid plans can often go awry. Tracy disappeared shortly after the hype of the album died down and, as of the making of this video, hasn't returned to the music charts. Over the years, she's focused on more behind-the-scenes work, including writing and providing backing vocals for other artists. She's worked with producer Dr. Dre, as well as rappers Eve, 50 Cent, and Kanye West. She also took on some film and theater acting roles. Back in 2004, Tracy told the Waterloo Cedar Falls Courier newspaper that she was going to get back into the studio to start working on a fourth album. So far, there hasn't been any further news on the project. In 2011, Tracy was a keynote speaker in her hometown of Waterloo for the annual Martin Luther King Jr. banquet honoring the civil rights leader. She touched on her entertainment career, saying that she never allowed the music industry, society, or tabloids to influence how she should dress or record her songs. She also added, staying true to myself and not having regrets is my number one goal. Today, Tracy enjoys a very private life with no social media, focused on her roles as a wife and mother. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.